Pictures have been popping up all over social media, many of them coming from homes destroyed by that tornado that ripped through Kentucky. WDRB's Chris Suter shows us the effort to get them back where they belong. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. This one may be worth a few more. We've been watching the news and kind of keeping track with where the storm was. After a few hours of sleep, I came out to my car. Katie Poston noticed something stuck to the window as it was parked outside her West Street home in New Albany. It was actually really wet and that's how it was sticking to the car. It was this picture. She started to wonder. Given that the, the tornado had come through and there had been so much destruction, I pretty immediately put two and two together that it was probably from someone's home that had been destroyed. Post and posted about it on social media. A friend of a friend of who knows who saw it, um, knew someone with the, sa the same last name um, and tagged him on my post. And then about half an hour later, he responded and said, yeah, that's that's my family that came from Dawson Springs. From a house ravaged by a tornado some 170 miles away and landing on Poston's car. Who's to say, you know, what path it took to actually get get here? It definitely crossed the Ohio. We know that much. So stories like hers are coming from all around Kentuckyana. Gary Holloway drove back on his acres of land off South Poplick Road. Well, I was looking for damage from the storm and spotted this. It was just like this. Mindy Rickard's staff ID from Muhlenberg County Schools. How did it get here? The tornado that hit Mindy's house was caught on camera seconds before it hit her home. We're glad to help them. Our personal belongings and the pictures of those we love are what make a house a home. These two people will play an important role in making those hurting feel like more than victims. Returning the things the Western Kentuckians lost. It's like, man, I'll bend over backwards to, to get this back to you. Before the storm of a lifetime changed everything. You know, I think Gary said it best in that story. How did this end up here? And Mark is here to explain. So, you know, when you're flying on a commercial jet, they mm -hmm. say we're cruising at around 37,000 feet. The debris from this tornado went up to 37,000 feet, was carried by a 70 knot or about 80 mile an hour jet towards the east northeast towards our area and then it's called debris fallout that fell across our area i'm really glad you did this story chris because there are so many people around the area that have found some of these memories from people that were struck by the catastrophic tornadoes and since you mentioned it too mark there is a facebook page connecting tornado victims with their belongings we do have a link in this story on wdrb.com